Hey, what's going on? Ruben, Texas, all water fishing. And <laughs> let me tell you, yesterday went out and did about 12 miles. It's 17 miles, 15 mile an hour winds. Went and fished marsh marsh area in Freeport, Texas. There was a lot of bait, tons of shrimp, tons of mullet. I mean, we even had them jumping in our kayak, Eric and I did. Well, like I said, we went about 12 miles. I was just done. I was dead. At one point, I even slipped. And <laughs> I was standing up, and I even slipped and fell inside my kayak, almost, almost falling out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, my boy can't stand up still. He'll fall out. <laughs> so on that note i am at the house cleaning up taking care of all my footage putting all my recharging all my batteries doing all the cleanup stuff i do after a trip and my legs are done my knees are hurting my hamstrings are hurting but eric just called me he lives in Galveston, and he just called me. Sorry for shaking this the camera, kind of holding the GoPro. But he's just called me and said that the water is green. It's been green all morning, and he's tearing up the fish. Uh, so typically when you're out there in Galveston, you know, the surf is, is green. It's not brown. And he, him and some other guys have been tearing up some fish this morning. Typically when you are fishing in the surf, you want to get out there as early as possible. Unfortunately, I probably won't be out there till about maybe 11 or 12. So I'm going to get my stuff together, get my gear together. I am going to, hey, I bought a drone. So I'm going to try to fly the drone a little bit and hopefully be able to get maybe, maybe two, maybe one or two specs is what I'm looking to get. I just want to see some of that clear, nice water. Now my legs are screaming at me, telling me to stay home. But when the water is clean and the water is green, you better stop what you're doing and get out there and we're gonna do just that but first we're gonna stop and buy some live shrimp because mama didn't raise no fool it is late in the day late in the game by the time I get out there so shrimp live bait is where I'm gonna be at but thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe and share <laughs> man I'm so tired All right, so these shrimps are huge, so I'm kind of cutting it in half. And got a treble hook. Chatterweight, treble hook. A little bead there, kind of hold it down a little bit. Water is super green, super clear. Not as clear as some days when we're out here banging them with the spoons, but it's very close to it. So want to run down here real quick and get into some of this fun kind of midday. So kind of late in the day for that but we want to see what's up. There he goes, look at that. Is that you? There you go. Awesome. I don't have a net. Can I borrow this net? Can I borrow this net? Can I borrow this net? Yeah. Okay. Man, did Youngblood just say, if I got it? Man, he must know who I am. But wait, I got a subscriber out here that said, hey man, don't lose nothing. He might know who I am. Where you going? Let me go this side. You got him already? You got trout.
Damn. That is a nice one. Hand that to you. Hey, you mind taking a picture? No, not at all. That is a big one. Oh my god, look how big that thing is. Sweet. You got a measuring tape with you? Thank you. Awesome, right on, man. Yeah, just got a nice pick. Let's check it out. Oh, that's a nice one, man. There you go. My boy, I got wood. Mm -hmm. Got another slide. And shit, I just hit a little pet with number trout. What are you doing? Drinking the goat? Oh. Drinking goat? Yep. Okay, the number trout. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. There's a trout right there where you said, Eric. Uh, yeah. That's a nice. Rip the lip. <coughs> lip ripper. Lip ripper, baby. Yes, sir. Uh, Little lip ripper. Little lip ripper. Hey, look at that lip. See, that's Cody. Cody, where you at? Yeah. That's like a 20 foot leader line. How are you, how are you casting that? You know, this Cody, uh. There we go. Look, look. look. Double up. Double up? Oh shit, nah. Nope. Get him in the boat! Oh! Oh, there we go. Nice. That's a nice trout, boy. That's a nice one right here. Another one. About 16. I think the first one was closer to like 15. This, I mean. 17, this is about 16.
All right, so that's gonna do it today. You know, me and my buddy Eric, we came out. Eric called me this morning and said that the surf was green and they were tearing up the fish. Unfortunately, I had something going on, so I couldn't get out here till about midday. But we had fun. I caught I caught a trout. I caught a caught couple, a couple of trout. trout. Yeah, I caught a trout. Yeah. A couple of nice trout. What'd we you ended catch? Up, we ended up with about four together and uh, a couple of sheep head. We saw a real nice trout get caught. Oh man, there. about a good 21, 22. No, Eric we said thought it was, 20, was Eric thought it was twenty-eight. But yeah, it was big. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, big it was trout, thick. Yeah. But hey, you know what? This is, you know, another one of those fun things about having a friend or being close to the island is that you can you can get out easily get out there on the water when the water is right. Now, if you hear that the water is green, or if you see that it possibility it might be green, or the waves or the surf might be flat, that's when you really need to take the opportunity to jump out there, get out there, grab your spoons, grab your live bait, and you hit a rock groin or two. Or get you some swimming trunks and get in. Or get in, yep, wade fishing. Always love getting out there in the water. But hey, thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks. I will make two points. <laughs>